thinking back to the one slide you showed, if, if social, if the, if the Social Security and Medicare trust funds being exhausted is the primary <coughs> driver, why isn't removing the cap on taxes to support those funds the solution? I think it is a part of the solution. Um, are you saying like, why don't I think it's the solution or why doesn't Congress do it? No, I'm just saying on that one graph you put back, showed up, uh, what would happen if- Which graph are, my, are we talking about? No. This one? No, further back, I guess. There was one where you showed the top line on the assumption that the taxes on, the tax limit on earnings that was taxed to support Medicare and Social Security if it was removed. And it basically, as I remember the slide, it looked like it erased the problem. Oh, I see, hold on, I know which one you're talking about. So, let me see if I can find. So first of all, there is no limit on Medicare. In fact, not only have we gotten rid of the limit, we got rid of it in 1993, we also now have an extra 0.9% surtax. So Medicare is actually the opposite situation. It's not only that there's no cap, you actually pay more at the top. So it's only Social Security where this is an issue. Hold on, I think I know which slide we're ta you're talking about. We just gotta get there. Um, this one. So this, um, this blue line, this blue dotted line at the top, um, assumes two things happen on revenue. The one is they eliminate the cap, and the other is they raise the payroll tax rate very gradually by 2.4 percentage points, which is, if you think about that out of 12.4, that's like a 20% increase in the tax rate. So the combination of those two things, eliminating the cap and raising the rate you know, by, by a quarter, can fix Social Security. And I think we should put both of those to be part of the solution, personally. Um, why would I not prefer that plan to, say, another plan? Um, is because basically, if you raise the top rate, in that case basically by 15%, you're pretty tapped out. Um, the ordinary top rate is 37%. With Medicare, it's basically 40%. That would put you at 55% um, with this payroll tax. Add in state and local taxes, in some cases you're at 60 or 65%. You're pretty tapped out on what you can raise from the rich at that point. Um, and with finite dollars from the rich, I'd rather put more of it into other kinds of deficit reduction, into investments, into children, um, rather than into Social Security, which is both a lifeline for many seniors, but also a huge windfall for a lot of people that are in the wealthiest generation and cohort in, in the known universe, to repeat a phrase. And so um, I would absolutely, I absolutely think that we should look at lifting the cap and we should consider raising the tax rate. But I would, it would not be my preference to solve it entirely there because I'd rather, um, I'd rather raise that revenue elsewhere for other purposes. Um, and I think in Social Security, there are things we can do in the benefit formula that um, don't hurt people that rely on the program and in fact can encourage more economic growth because they encourage more savings and they encourage more work from, um, from many seniors that um, not only are contributing to the economy but would benefit in other kinds of ways as well.